Hello everyone, Seth here, and welcome to today's playing Path of Champions daily. Today we're doing fresh with Mordekaiser, and we'll be getting the the Spirit Forge quest done because I wanna put on the Disciple of Shadows. And today's episode is kind of special because I I do wanna talk about. Uh, the, the recent Riot post and the recent LOR posts because wow that's that's one way to put it <laughs> okay so for those out of the loop which I don't assume there are many but it's still good to it's still good to talk about it first uh, Riot is basically ending Riot Forge and LOR gets scaled down even more and also 11% of the company got axed, basically. They do get the severance package, so it's they they still will be able to hopefully find a job in, in for, uh, I think the the package is for six months. So hopefully everyone will be able to find to find jobs, and uh, I wish those that were laid off nothing but the best. And. Uh, if you are interested uh, about who, who actually got laid off, I will put a, put a, a Reddit post in, in the description with, with all the info that you have. So, because people people have been compiling a list of who who, who sadly got let, let go of. And I also want to talk about how those decisions will decisions will impact the game basically so i think in both of the posts they were mentioning that they are going to be focusing on uh, path of champions again and obviously the team got scaled down there will be a new i think project manager or, or, or team manager i'm, I'm not sure what, what the name of the position is uh, there will be a live stream on the 2nd of February, so we will get more info there. Uh, with with exact details. S but this is obviously not good. Even though I like basically play on P Path of Champions, I think that uh, the shift that Riot did it's it's a very bad sign for, for the game. Obviously, the game is not ending yet, and I hope it's going to stay alive for a while longer. But those kinds of reductions, reductions, and basically being mentioned that the, the game is not profitable, which well, what was known for quite a while already. Uh, does mean that that the content will probably slow will, will like well actually not probably it will most likely slow very much and so yeah less less content or and but still there is still a bunch of content that is getting released um, like way ahead of schedule or rather, there is a bunch of content that was created before before the this entire announcement. So uh, the game still will have a few expansions ahead of it. I'm guessing because most game development pipelines are like years in advance, or at least a year in advance. So most of the content will still be staying. But again, uh, this is this is not good news. And and well, okay. Am I am I happy that that the content is being changed to like the the main focus is going to be changed to top of champions? Mm, not really. The the last time that we've heard this was I think a year ago or uh, 
some time ago. There was also a post where they said that they want to focus on PvE because it's the more played mode and it makes sense. Uh, like, I a lot of people that I that I talk with, or either on Discord or on other social media, mostly play Path of Champions. And uh, I do hope that... Well, hard, hard to find words for this, basically. It's... It's tough. It really is tough. Mm. Oh yeah, maybe. Okay, so how to how to approach this? Maybe. So. Oh, this is this is going great. Like I can already tell this is going great. Yeah, I've been playing LOR basically since the open beta, and it's been really tough seeing this happen. Because, well, it's a game I sunk many hours into. I've I've played basically all the modes, including expeditions once they were available. So it's 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 pretty sad to, to see this happen. Obviously, not the end yet, and I hope the game will stay alive for a while still. But obviously the post has given us nothing but worry because you know you are already scaling down a very small well not very small a smaller team into even smaller size and that's that's not ideal as we say sorry my tailor does it work in haunted wreckage consider this so it's, it's gonna be a, a tough few weeks waiting, basically, and just... Well, it's not, not that easy to, to not fall into theories about what, what's gonna happen with, with LR, or what, what can we expect about, like, the new, the new content. And that's the thing, if Path of Champions becomes, like, the main focus, what what happens with with champion expansions? That's that's something that hopefully will get addressed on on the second. I will definitely be be watching that. Yeah. You are vulnerable. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm having difficulty like thinking about it. Also, I, it's actually not the first game that I really enjoyed, and it died on me. Well, died. It's not dead yet, but it, it always basically goes like this. Game gets uh, way less resources than it needs. So the game starts losing, in, people start losing interest in the game since the game doesn't do enough during the time it's it's live. So then there is less incentive into actually putting stuff into the into the game that that we have, and the circle just the cycle just continues until until the game dies. And I'm afraid something. Like this will happen here. Because let's be honest. While the game the game is great, the game is really fun, there is a lot of uh, player expression in the game. A lot of things have been done very well. Uh, it's still hard not to not to think about it eventually ending. Uh, if you're wondering the other game that this happened to was Duelist, which did get revived. Really, really fun. Uh, Duelist 2, really, really nice. Although that one is also kind of struggling right now, so mm, 
Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, Hearthstone is also not doing too hot right now. Like, it's obviously doing better than LOR, but... I think there were also a, bun a bunch of layoffs like last year in LOR, and there were a bunch of shifts. And, well, obviously a lot of modes from, from that game also died, like, duels are going to get removed from from Hearthstone, if I, if I remember correctly. Mercenaries are basically on life support, and yeah, I think it's the those like two last years are basically not not have not been great for for like card games in general. Um, about stuff that has been not great in general, Riot, For Riot Forge is closing, and oh boy. I I really enjoyed the games they put out and I think I've I've played most of them. Uh, I've played I definitely played Ruin King. I didn't finish it, but I should one day because it's it's been really good. I have like twenty something hours in it, or at least like eighteen. I I don't remember the the the, the numbers right now. I finished Mage Seeker one hundred percent. Uh, I wanted to get Song of Nunu, but my budget was kind of tight that, that, that year well, when this was released, so I had to skip on that one and I had to skip on Convergence. There was also the Ziggs game and I've played it. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like... And I think I've saw Ghostcrawler talk about this. Maybe I'll put like tweets on the on the right or something, where where he said that when he took over, it was basically uh, yeah they wanted we want to do like stuff that's not going to be like huge hits, and that's understandable I think. But killing killing the, killing it outright is I think a very bad decision. Mostly because layoffs, and those layoffs are are hurting really badly. Because not only a lot of like league champion concept concept artists went out. Like I think there was a head of TFT Esports, which is interesting because I think TFT is mentioned as being oh yeah we'll be focusing on this this year, and that's that's kind of counterintuitive I think. Um, there are obviously there are also like a lot of champion designers, which I think I said already. For actually project that's for project that while have been announced, they like I think are only in the concept stage. So whatever happens to these, uh, and a lot of artists got uh, got let off, and that sucks. I think the most. I think a bunch of those were also concept artists, so I'm not sure why now, especially if they are saying that they have a lot of projects in the in like various stages of R and D. So it's also a weird situation in my opinion. Good AI moment. Uh, because you you would think that you would need at least. A, bu a bunch of concept artists, right? If you have a lot of R&D projects, but well, it's it's been it's been basically an awful day for for everyone for everyone who is a fan of Riot and knows like. What's what's going on in the in the in the back? Sorry, my tailor doesn't work in haunted wreckage. Hmm. And I think also there were a bunch of projects that were already announced for Riot Forge, so those are also most likely dead. It's it's just an awful situation.
and yeah, it's 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 been pretty hard for for a lot of folks to to see that go down. We do know that Hytale is, I think, still alive. So that's that's something, I guess. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an answer. Hmm. But yeah, in general, pretty pretty awful day, to be honest. Follow spirits, then they follow us. Oh, yeah, it's. Yeah, so in general, vibes are not good. Uh, also, I personally had a pretty not good day at work as well, so yeah, it's it's been one hell of a day. Uh, yeah. So that's so that's that. Oh yeah, I was gonna continue about like the way that since LOR is getting scaled down, how what what it's gonna actually mean for the game and, and stuff like that. So the so the main concern is that first of all, we there was a promise of a draft mode. Which, with those plans, it might get released, it might not, we don't know. And it's kind of also hard to talk about it because we have to wait, like, almost two weeks until until we get any more info. And, and the best thing we can do right now is speculate and offer support to, to those who got impacted by, by the layoffs the most. Like, not much else. Hmm. Okay, so let's let's actually start doing like speculations now and maybe see if they get covered on the second because I I was thinking about like having other topics to discuss but I I went to bed at 2 a.m. like looked at my phone. Well, and that happened. So cool. Yeah. Okay. So speculations. What what do the layoffs mean for LOR? Like initially, what did my initial thoughts on on this? Which notably I did like the I did engage in a bunch of discussions with with various people. Okay, so first thoughts. Content is gonna slow down. How how much it's gonna slow down? I have no idea. 95% uh, sure we will be getting the winter expansion. Probably the announcement will be on the second. I'm guessing. Or not. It, it still can change. But I am expecting that, well, there will be more info on how they actually wanna move onwards with with the with less of the squad that they have. Uh, so the winter end of winter thingy. Uh, I should actually like put it on the screen where where I got the info from. If I if I remember, I'll put it I'll put it on like the right. So end of winter event. That's that's the first one. Uh, 
So end of winter event. This will probably be released somewhere on schedule. Probably it's going to be teased on the second or maybe earlier. I have no idea. Uh, oh, this kind of sucks. Uh, next expansion. This will probably also get released somewhere on schedule. I don't think we will like see an immediate impact with this for for a while because you know uh, since game pipelines are done like very long in advance the the impact of the of the changes won't be felt for a while uh can the focus on the Path of Champions content that's while I I well, a lot of people are very happy because well finally we'll be getting focus on Path of Champions content and yeah it's it's fun but like at the same time uh, at the same time this probably means that the World Championships will get axed because I don't expect them to, to stay in, in this state why, why does he have two entrants? or three actually, this is the third one nothing on my side though Okay, so again, like the first expansions, first uh, first releases that were already planned will be released on time, but afterwards the, the promised draft mode means that, okay, we might get it, but will it actually get developed? I have no idea. Uh, we will definitely get an expansion. I'm getting so many losers. So the yeah, the expansion will get released. Uh, yeah, the, the the expansion will be released on time. The or around the time it should be. The the winter event should be released on time. Uh, I think the second expansion in the pipeline should also get released. So the the one beyond uh, Fates Voyage that that we are currently in because we're only at the I think second out of three if I'm not mistaken. So that's that. Mm, there is there was at least an exploration of a co-op mode. In, in path so if that get released it, it might actually be the thing that they are they are currently working on uh, like behind the scenes they, that they want to include if, if they are focusing more on path of champions and like the real question is are they starting to focus on path of champions now or like was the previous part of experimentations that they they were talking about a few months ago I think like also the part of the the part of expanding the the path I I genuinely don't know because this this announcement was Since this announcement was revealed like a few days, like a day ago, basically, or, or like 16 hours? Wait, why am I recording this? 17 hours, like from now. That, that, you know, was it was it planned or is it because a lot of people just that were laid off that learned it from from actually the announcement so that's also awful so the question is did did like an poc exploration or the focus happened like before this announcement or after i'm guessing it's gonna probably start 
after this announcement which is not good in its own right But at the same time, it's it's good that they are doing Path of Champions like more seriously, I guess, or they are focusing it more, because uh, they did announce that when they announced it at first, it was like yeah, we are doing we are focusing more on Path, and that was I think the first downscaling, like the major one that happened to the LOR team. Uh, but now, then they said they want to focus on PvP more, despite knowing that Path of Champions was still the most popular mode, and everyone thinks that's a corporate decision, and I would not be surprised if, if it was. Hell, I'm almost certain of it. I can say hell in those videos, right? Okay. Uh, but yeah so focus on path of champions is nice but like how much how much of that content is going into new stuff and how much of that content is going into bringing like like we talked i talked about yesterday where i said that it would be nice to see older champions get introduced back but hmm. Not like this, basically. Not like this. Spells just... Let's go for spells. Uh... So... <laughs> the only thing to do is wait, basically. And it's it will be a long wait. So yeah. Oh, also one thing they said, which I think everyone knew, or at least most of us knew, is that LOR is not profitable. Which yeah, that's that was kind of expected. But at the same time you look at League, you look at Valorant, you look at other other games and it's it's kind of sad that Riot, uh, a company that can make a lot of money and and can afford keeping LOR alive because it still brings some money at least, right? I for example buy the, the, the passes, I buy a bunch of skins when they come out. And there are other players that do that as well. And it's kind of interesting that it's still not, I guess, not enough. Obviously, corporate decisions are a thing, and that sucks. And you have to please the investors, yata yata yata, but still. You would, you would think that Riot could afford keeping a project like this alive and not have issues with it <sighs> but here we are so okay I've rambled long enough I probably like repeated my points six or more, ta more times so let's actually wrap it up and let's 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 say something uh, at the end well it's not the end it's it's that I have still uh, another fight to go through but like let's let's wrap this topic up because I'm going in circles I think. <laughs> uh, so let's wrap it up this way. Riot Forge dying, very bad. Uh, a lot of writers got laid off and a lot of artists got laid off and also a, a bunch of uh, heads of esports for. I think there was a head of esports for TFT. I said that before I think. But a lot of 
creative folks got got axed out of the company, which is awful. And which means that LOR that the lot of league in general or like Runtera in general is gonna get worse. It's gonna get way way worse, I would assume. Because nothing good comes from firing your writers. League's lore was already carried heavily by by LOR. Obviously there is a copium that the mythical and I swear I sometimes I, I think the MMO is just a mass delusion, but but whatever. That the MMO will fix everything. Yeah. Sure. That egg. Did it move? Let's hope that will truly happen. Uh, for LOR, more Path of Champions stuff, less PvP focus, uh, downsize of the crew to basically a skeleton of a skeleton, which is never a good sign. LOR is not dying yet, and I hope it will stay alive for a while longer and that, like, they actually focus on improving path and that the improvements that they make would uh, would would really like make LOR come out on top. Well maybe you're not on top but at least make it make it uh well, not more profitable because I don't think that's possible at this stage. But like, make it more important. And it's kind of interesting. Would would any of you mind if this if this game became basically PVE only? I for one would, even though even though I don't play PVE. No, even though I only play PvE, like not having PvP is, I think it's a great mistake. Or like, not being so focused on on PvP. Oh, my God, not being as focused on on PvP is is a mistake. Um, what else? What I want to say. I must have been and I have given you eternity to claim it. It's it's just hard to say. It's hard it, and it's hard to think about it as well. I've seen a few games die. And I've played a bunch of them, especially card games during their lifespans. And going through this is not perfect, or ideal, or good in any capacity. I could have dealt for damage to me, I guess. Oh, they keep it on one HP. I see. Okay. That's it. That's that. But an over. Yeah. Not as high energy as I would I would like. Not as not as coherent maybe. <laughs> well I wouldn't say coherent, but like way more unfocused rambling than I think the, even the first or the second episode in general. Yeah, it's just it's just sad to see see this happen. Even though like deep down I did expect 
something like this to go down. So... Yeah. That's, that's that for today, I guess, so... Maybe... Maybe something will come out of this? I would hope it, it would be good if, if it did. But it's obviously hard to say and it's too early to say. So, gotta wait for that 2nd February. Yeah, see you around.